Hey guys, this is Jeff from Adirondack Woodsman. Uh, today what I'm doing is we're going to take this uh, walnut slab. My brother-in-law is looking to make a desk for my sister and we're going to take this. It's three inches. We're going to mill it down to two, in or, you know, cut it down to two inches. We're going to flip it on its side and give it a flat, flat edge. And he's going to end up, we'll probably end up cutting it here. He's going to get two 37 through 36 inch pieces that he's going to bookend together and make a live edge uh, desk for my sister. So follow along. Uh, glasses, hang on. I have left them on here. I know I brought out safety glasses. And, and normally I have hearing protection, but I only got two cuts, so I'm not worried about it. Nope, get the ones out of the tractor. I got like probably eight pairs of safety glasses all over the place. Whoops, other side. I, I'm i also probably gonna run the fluid because this is gonna be hard, you know, cause it's dried. Normally I don't always do that. Okay, so we're doing two inches. Gonna be close. I gotta reposition it. The problem is I'm going to be hitting on this side. I need to, I think what we're going to do is slide up this way so that it'll lock in. Hang on one second. Let me get this out. I got to go over there and lift. Okay, let me see close that is going to be when I pull it in. Go ahead and push that tight if you can. I'm going to clamp it, but just want to get a look first. This way a little bit more. Oops. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, why is it? It's just the way the kind of the warp in the board is, I guess. Um, just push it just a hair more. Okay. 
Yeah, that should. That's what that is there. Nothing worse than getting the blade part way through and then realizing it's not going to go. Okay, so we're going to. And I didn't get uh, I didn't get it low enough on this side unless this side's sticking up yeah this side's sticking up I gotta take it I gotta do it again see underneath the gap well that well it's this stupid thing it's raising it up on us so I didn't take enough off at the other end you know what we can do is flip it around. So I bet you this is two inch. We'll flip it around and because it wasn't sitting on the thing back there. So take we take this off. Where do you want to go? It doesn't matter. Over this way, it'll be firewood probably. Really? Well, look at it. It's kind of, and then the other side. thinking is we know we have a flat well we don't know we have a flat side here because it the problem is it went down off of this rail when we moved it forward so it was hanging down otherwise it was going to be high let's flip it over and see how flat it lies on this now I'm gonna flip it this way which way your way I got, I'm gonna put the clamp down first the clamp sticking up 
So come on this side over here. Where? Come around here. So what I'm going to do is flip it up for just a second, hold it there, and then we'll, so pull it back our way. Flip it up because I just want the dust to all get out so it's not sitting on the rails. And then we're going to pull it back. Let it down. Don't hit your finger. And then we want to make sure we're on this rail this time. And I think it, since we flipped it over, yeah, it's just got a little wane in it. Give me a second to think. Yep. Let's flip it back where it was. Um, I'll try to get this right out of the way. No, kind of. Are you on down there? Just barely. That's fine. As long as it's on. But that's what that was the concern, right? Is that it's not flat. Well, again, push it, push it in just a tad. Push it your that? yeah. No, no, my, that way. Up against towards. No, no. Oh. Go back. Yeah, that way. I'm gonna. If I get off of this, what happens? See, the problem is I don't want to go. I don't want to sink down. Well, actually, it wouldn't be bad. I can sink down. It's, I'm not going to take any more off on this end. If I do this, I won't take any more off. Be, you can flip it this way. But I can get this. My. Well, I, I really didn't want to take, I don't want to take any more off this end because I think this is right. I need to get tape measure. You got one? Measure both sides of this. Well, I can measure it. Okay, that's just under two inches. Two inches. It's just down on the end here that's really. Whoops. That's two inches there. It's really the very end. I'm tempted to say leave it because we're going to cut this off, right? Yeah. Um. I'd rather have more than not enough. Because that's just under two inches. But that's more from the wane of the board than anything. And down at this end, which you're not going to use this anyways, that's two inches there. I'd say we go with that. And that said, you put it in the router sled and that you're going to right. flatten it that way. Right. And you're probably going to, I mean, this isn't too bad. You, you, you probably have to get down to maybe one and three quarters when you're done. Maybe not that. Maybe one and, one and uh, seven eighths. You'll have to see. It's amazing how much, you, the reason you're not going to go as much as when I did. So the longer the length, the more you got to take off. Right, right. Um, but I think, that, I think that'll work, Gary. Yeah, so I, I, I make my adjustments on the table. Yeah. So, so we'll figure we're going to go all the, we'll leave the end on, but go, go and measure. I want to measure 80 from up here somewhere. All the way to the end? Or no, no, I want to, so I'll get to the end of your crack, this end of the crack. Because I'm assuming that's what you want. You want, you have a little bit here. Yeah, that's fine there. Okay, so that's 80. That gives you room to play with. So why don't I, 
I'd like to mark that and cut that okay. before we, because that way I might be able to use this for something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, do you got a pencil? I'll get one. Hang on. Okay, so what we're going to do is slide this, this, slide this whole thing my way first. A little more. I have to move a little bit more, but you got it where you want it down there? Yeah. Approximately. Okay. Just don't want to be cutting over my, uh, Actually, give it, give that back to me one second. I got to measure an inch and a quarter from there. Actually, where did my mark go? There it is. So I'm gonna go. Okay, so I'm just gonna, this is gonna be squaring it up kind of like as close as we can. It's not gonna be perfect. But uh, you tell me kind of where you want. So this is my mark here. Yep. I'm gonna center, whoops, I can't see crap. Okay, so uh, let me pull it tight first. Okay, now you tell me how square does that look? Yeah, that's pretty good. To move a little bit that way. Is it still square? Do you got to move your end a little bit? This way? Uh, hold it right there. I'm going to look from over here. That's pretty close. I don't know. It's okay. Okay. It should be on. I'm going to, I'm going to, Move the mill to the other end. Oh no, I can move it back a little bit more. I need. I want you to get him in there and hold that after it starts to fall. To wait for it to come on. Oops. I can do that too. I'm going to be on your side cutting. <laughs> to get my inch and a half. Um, you can stand here. I'm just going to be right here. This, um, the blade is, I'm, I may switch to that blade if it goes really slow. You know, like if yeah. I have to go really slow. Oops. Make sure. <laughs> okay. Oops. Gotta move forward a little bit. <coughs> okay, we need to figure out which, I forgot which edge you want to keep here. You want this to be, oh, we're gonna flip it over after, right? And see wh whether, remember it had that. Yeah. I mean, this 
This, the other side, that's the side that has, so, I mean, this side looks really good. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, I do, I like this, I do. Okay, so, it doesn't matter. What I need to do, we're gonna have one side live edge. Which side do you want the live edge? I uh, I'm thinking this side. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. So we gotta stand it up, my way, after. I'm gonna put the side supports up. Why don't you come over here and hold this for me? I'm gonna put these side supports up, so just kind of balance it. Okay. So now what we're gonna to wanna to do is bring your end down onto the, all the way down onto the thing, because we want it to be as level as possible. All right, that's pretty good. That's about as close as you're gonna get live edge. Yep. And I'm gonna clamp it. <laughs> Just wanna make sure it's tight, because when you get down to an inch and a half, it does not tight, so, okay. Okay, so let's figure up how so it's not going to be an exact 28 inches. Right. Figure out where you want your cut. And I got that pencil. You must have the two or, measure too. Uh, I got it, I got it. Maybe I don't have the pencil. Here's the pencil. Oh, yeah. So just measure up where, where you think you want it to go for your level edge. And let's make, yeah. You, and go from go from here. So put. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Right. So I mean, does that look good? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's got to be. You want right. 14, right? right? Do you want a little more? Or do you want? That's probably probably 14. Otherwise, you're going to be. That gives you 28. If right. Do you want 28? 20? Was it 27? I don't remember. She's awful picky. She is. She's picky. But don't put that in YouTube. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I probably will, just different video. 20, um, no, she wanted 27. 27, so we want 13 and a half. We're going to lose an eighth of an inch. Well, we don't lose an eighth of an inch. Uh, so me we'll measure, I'll just measure down up from the from the base here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's going to be a little less. I mean, our, since it's curved some, maybe we should go 28. Yeah, go and 20, it'll give you yeah. a little bit more. Give you a little bit. So four, 14 inches is what we want, and then times two. Right. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. <laughs> oh well, not a big deal. We're done with cutting. Do you, do you have a joiner? A joiner? No, I don't. If you wanted to, it's up to you. You can come out and run it once or twice or... I'm just going to use uh It just makes sure you got a flat edge, that's yeah. all. Yeah. But... Yeah. Okay, well this should hopefully get you what you want, but like I said, definitely going to run it through the water. 
router sled. I don't think it'll be as bad as we thought, cause you know, cause that end you're gonna cut most of that off. I'm gonna, I'll bring the truck up. Okay. No, can we just carry it? You you bring a truck up. I'll put a wrap on this. I'll put a wrap on this. <laughs> okay, so we ended up taking this down to two inches. It was a little bit big on the other end because we had a little bit of warp. He's going to use a router sled in order to uh, get the finished product, and uh, but I think it came out pretty good. So on this side, we got our flat edge. He will cut the board at roughly 36 inches. He'll get two sections. We've got extra on the end that he can get rid of. It's some beautiful grain in here. I'll, maybe I'll show you guys. And uh, the other side is the actual finished side. Slide that over. Give you guys a look at it. So I know I don't have any water or anything on this, but hopefully you can see some of the grain. Um, this is going to come out nice. It'll be live edge on this side and uh, he'll cut it in half, flip it around and end up joining those two together and he'll be using that for my sister's desk. So, so hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't a, a real, excuse me. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't a long one, but uh, uh, yeah. So we took this lab, it's been drying for three years and uh, we're gonna get some use out of it. Thank you guys, have a great day and uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a great weekend.